What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a review and unboxing video of the Admiral Premium N64 controller by Hyperkin. Now this controller is actually compatible with of course N64, original console, PC, Mac, and Android. So I'll tell you what guys, let's get into it. Here we go. All right guys, let's get into the unboxing of this. Now I've actually already had the chance to use this. Uh, my nephews and uh, brother-in-law came over for uh, the holidays and I was actually able to go ahead and uh, set this up uh, with my N64. So it works really good. I'm really happy with the controller. I'm definitely gonna probably end up getting the white one as well. Um, but uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Now again, this does work on the original hardware as well as PC, uh, Mac, and Android. Uh, it actually just connects Bluetooth wirelessly to your uh, PC, Mac, and Android. So that's pretty neat. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. All right. So as you can see, um, let's see what else is in here. Okay, you got the instruction manual here. It just shows you how to connect uh, through Bluetooth as well as uh, uh, transferring your saves over to an SD card from your memory card. So that's a pretty neat little feature there. Uh, what you're able to do is you're able to, um, so I'll show you real quick here. You're able to stick a, a micro SD uh, card right here and uh, your memory card, stick it in here and they'll actually be able to transfer your saves over to it, which is a neat little feature there. Um, again, it does have the original uh, plug in to plug it into your console. Um, so here's the actual receiver for the uh, N64, uh, as well as, like I said, the uh, information for the uh, memory card there. So let's move on to the controller. Set this aside here. So um, as you can see here, it's a pretty good little looking controller here. Uh, now the, um, what do I call it? The little joystick here, uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not, uh, you know, anywhere near the perfect, like the uh, original hardware. Uh, same thing with the D-pad. Uh, a and B is pretty decent. The uh, uh, buttons up here for the C button start, and uh, the Z buttons are uh, back up here, and you got the L and R as well. Um, the buttons feel good. Uh, I have no issues with it. Now, some of you might have an issue with it, um, you know, because I mean, I guess, you know, you guys are so used to original hardware, um, but, as far as when I was playing 007, uh, GoldenEye, I didn't have any issues with it. Um, it's definitely a great controller. So I don't have any gripes about it. Uh, the battery life says it's supposed to last six hours. I haven't played nearly long enough to actually test that. Um, but like I said, other than that, uh, honestly, the controller feels great. Uh, I don't have any issues with that. I think for a casual gamer uh, that plays the N64 every once in a while that doesn't want to have to worry about getting an extension for the uh, cable for the uh, uh, original hardware, the original uh, controllers, uh, this is a great little uh, addition. Like I said, I do plan on probably buying the, the white uh, version as well so I can have a se second one um, because uh, my wife and I usually like to play uh, you know, Mario Kart or whatever. So uh, definitely uh, take a look at that there. And there's a sync button up here and then the charging uh, slot for the uh, cable charging cable But other than that guys, uh, let's get into a little bit of gameplay footage uh, With this working I'm probably gonna try it out with 007 and maybe some uh, Super Mario Mario Kart maybe uh, so let's get into that next All right guys, so let's get into this uh, video here. So I'm gonna be playing some GoldenEye 007 <sighs> Definitely a classic on the N64 um, if you guys never played it if you can get your hands on on the N64 and on 007, definitely play it. Especially with friends, pretty fun. So, all right, let's get into this here. Uh, let's do, tell you what, let me do this one here. I'm just gonna do agent, so it'll be a little bit easier on me. Just for video sake. So, uh, all in all right now, it actually feels pretty good in the hands. Um, I kind of already, uh, through my eyes, I kind of looked at it and got adjust of where all the buttons are at. Now, again, with this controller, the Z is on top, uh, along with the uh, uh, was it, they have like L and R buttons as well on the top. Um, so, chop chop. <laughs> uh, let's change that. There you go. 
Got him. Now guys, again, I'm not really trying to be perfect here because <laughs> I'm trying to do this video while, while playing it. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, right now I have no issues. Right now it's perfect. Uh, I just had to remember how to adjust everything real quick. There you go. Reload, just change to this one. And I know usually there's some guys that come out of that corner there. Just start shooting at me here. Well, let's go down here. There you go. I thought there was two. I guess not. <laughs> okay. All right, let's move on to the next portion here. Let's see. I don't know for sure there's people starting to shoot at me already. But uh, yeah, everything feels good. I mean, the, of course, the analog stick is, uh, so I mean, it's gonna take a little bit to get used to. I mean, it's not the same like the uh, original N64 controller, but I mean, for, for what it does, it actually works, I mean, decent. Uh, maybe that's the only thing, but I mean, I don't think that's really a deal breaker for everybody I mean I, I really enjoy this controller but that's just kind of one thing that I would probably change maybe try to make it um, a little bit less uh, I don't know how to explain like clunky or something I don't know <laughs> but uh, other than that I mean the rest of the buttons feel great uh, all right I bullets on there so let's see here There it goes. I'm trying to figure out the button to press it to unlock the door. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it feels great. Um, now, another thing, guys, is uh, you can't use any of your rumble packs or anything like that on this, obviously, because there's no pack on the outside. Um, you do uh, get to use your memory cards. Um, you can actually plug it into the actual um, adapter that goes into the uh, console so that way you can be able to use this wirelessly. Um, so you can um, save them to there, and then also you can actually hook up that adapter to your computer and you can back up your saves, which is an awesome feature of this controller here. Oh, gotta stop him before he gets to the alarm. I remember uh, when I first started playing this, uh, when I got it, I was like, oh man, you know, he sets up the alarm uh, and then you're pretty much uh, done for because then, you know, they catch you and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's kind of in the nutshell. Um, like I said, guys, um, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty good controller. I mean, I, I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, Definitely, if you get a chance to pick up, pick one up. Uh, it's 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 a pretty cool uh, little addition, uh, wireless addition that is uh, to your N64 uh, collection. If you want to start playing it, um, you know, if if your couch is a little bit far or whatever from where your N64 is at, um, it's definitely a good little uh, controller. Um, now they probably, I'm assuming they probably will come out with some newer ones uh, sooner or later, maybe with better, um, you know, maybe connectivity or or maybe they'll I'll throw in the remote feature. You know built in or something uh, that'd be a cool thing but uh yeah so other than that guys um that's it for me uh, again i definitely approve of this controller uh if you get a chance pick one up uh, i don't think you'd be uh disappointed at all all right guys uh that's all from this video and we'll see you next time